goodbye, student loan payments. You know God loves you. What's so special about that? God loves everyone. God is love. You say that God is love, but is that love truly blind? Yes, the love that is God is completely blind. And there are people on this earth who are blind. Yes, there are people who walk this earth that cannot see. For example, Stevie Wonder? Yes, Stevie Wonder is undeniably blind. So Stevie Wonder is God. Wait, no! Stevie Wonder is not God. What? God is love, and love is blind, and so is Stevie Wonder. So Stevie Wonder is directly tied to God through the blindness of love. Ah, but is Stevie Wonder love? Well, I don't know. He seems pretty happy. Loves his music. But Stevie Wonder himself is not love. I suppose that's true. Then Stevie Wonder is not God. But that still leaves the question. Because God's love is blind, does God have a greater love for those who are blind? Yes. I think that's a fair assumption. Can I use that when you're done? You know, I think I'm beginning to figure it out. Figure what out? Life, philosophy, all this. Oh no, here we go again. Well, don't you think it has a meaning? Well, yeah, but I don't go try to explain it all. But isn't that the point? Why does there have to be a point? Because it's important to know why we're here. It doesn't matter why. I'm sick and tired of all these arrogant intellectual types going around trying to explain everything. Well, you know what the meaning of life is? No, what's the meaning of life? Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake? The meaning of life? Why? Think of it in terms of eating. You've got your appetizer, and your salad, and your main course, but what you're really trying to get to is... dessert. And the richest, most delicious, enjoyable dessert ever is... strawberry cheesecake. So what you're saying is, the ultimate purpose of life is wish fulfillment. Oh, sure. We use pleasure to guide us to the right decisions. Hmm. Do you have any evidence to back this up? Oh, sure. It's all throughout history. Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. But he probably would have been happy with a simple piece of strawberry cheesecake. Ah, but Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake. And then they chopped her head off. Well, that's because she promised the peasants of France cake, but then didn't deliver it. And she offered them ordinary run-of-the-mill cake. 
not strawberry cheesecake. Exactly. Sounds good to me. movie? I don't have any money. Mm. You know how you can get some money? Get a job? No. You can sell your soul. Did you read this? Mm -mm touched us all, was loved by his... I couldn't Let me see that. to have that said about. Next day, why not just... It's... I don't know. It's... I'm... Here... I mean, what he did to us... Fuck what he did to us! Like it wasn't enough that he... I, I know. I know. I know. He really just... I just torn my hair out, and... I couldn't stand the thought of... And what about me? You think this is about me? You wanna just throw him in the mud and step on him, huh? You're an asshole. Well, he's entitled to be. souls go for nowadays? Varies. You done it? No. Thought about it though. You know you're really gonna like it at Pooter. <coughs> sure. Whatever. Just sell your soul and you'll fit right in. Keep that in mind. Seriously, though. You're really gonna like it. Sure. Don't worry about me. Are we still cooking at your house on Friday? Of course. Sweet. I'll be there. Awesome. Hey. Hey, James. Hey. Oh, sorry. This is my cousin, Micah. He works in the office. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, um, speaking of which, I have to get out of here. See you guys around. See you, Micah. Later, Micah. Oh, hey, Warren. Come here, I want you to meet some people. Guys, this is Warren. Warren, this is Aaron and Alex. Hey, nice to meet you. How's it going, man? He's been my best friend since we were, like, that tall. Shorter. He's new here. Aww. I wondered why I never saw you before. Yeah, I transferred from Collins. Well, that's... Nice. So, uh, what do you guys think about me selling my soul? What? What, you mean, like, on the internet? Yeah, like on e-market. You can't do that. I heard you could get good money for you that. You can't do that. Come on, it's just a scam anyway. It's your soul. <laughs> oh, hey, are we still doing food at your house? Yeah, Friday. Friday? You want to come? Friday? Yeah. No, I can't. Come on, good food. Sorry, I'm busy. Oh, come on. I'm a great cook. 
So, how are Tom and Karen doing? They're fine. Well, here's how the story went. Very long time ago, on a planet very much like ours, there lived a people very much like us. Everything on this planet was made of something that the people called matter. Now, matter itself was composed of many tiny particles. Each of these particles in itself was a planet populated by billions of people. The big people on the big planet didn't know about any of this. They called the particles atoms. Everything was just fine and dandy for the big people on the big planet, but things were not fine for the little people. You see, every time the big people moved, atoms inevitably collided, killing scores of people. Now, this happened all the time. It was once estimated that a trillion people died every second. Now, a talented scientist on one of the more technically advanced planets figured out what was going on and he worked together with scientists on other planets. The planets pooled all their resources in order to develop a way to contact the big people on the big planet and tell them what was happening. See? They spent years researching. They sank the entire gross domestic product of every planet involved into the project. The added bonus, though, was that there was no money left over for wars and genocide or any kind of weird vivisections or anything strange like that that you might find in any kind of those strange, corrupt political situations. Or for any political campaigns whatsoever. It was outstanding. Eventually, the little people who lived on the atoms were able to contact a big person, a scientist named Donald. They told Donald what was happening and how every time he moved, he killed millions of people. Poor Donald was so distraught that he killed himself. But before he died, he wrote a note that explained everything he had just learned. Now another big person found this note and told another big person and another until eventually everybody knew about the horrible things they were all doing. Everybody was so upset that all but the most heartless of people killed themselves. They left the big planet inhabited only by heartless people who didn't care that they killed millions of people at every step. And so the big planet became a much cooler a more unhappy place. But on the bottom of the deepest trench, in the deepest ocean, on the big planet, there was a grain of sand buried under many, many other grains of sand. One of the atoms making up this grain of sand was a planet made mostly of water and inhabited by super intelligent penguins. And none of the penguins knew anything about any of this. Karen's thinking of going back to school. Oh, that's good. She's thinking of getting her teaching certification? Maybe. I don't know what she'll teach, though. Hey. Hi. Hey. Guys. hey. So, uh, what's up with Warren? I don't know. He's just not a people person. That mean he's scared of us or something? <laughs> I have no clue. So, how are your classes going? Uh, not too good, not too bad. How about you, James? Uh, Lit seems like an interesting class. Really? Who's in that? Marshall? Oh, you better watch out for him. Why? One time, he threw a chair through a closed window. No, really? Yeah, I was there. He got really excited about iambic pentameter, and he picked up the chair and... Lying. Yeah, I am. Oops. So, do we have a physics test tomorrow? Uh, no, it's on Tuesday. Where are these eggs supposed to go? In that pan over there. I thought we were making burritos. No, we're making an omelet. And what am I doing with all this biscuit dough? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, you know, I haven't been doing anything at all. And I thank you very much for that. Micah, why can't you be more like James? So what do you think about me selling my soul? Didn't you do that a long time ago? No, that was my innocence. Aw, oh, that's right. You sold it for a bag of peanuts back in 8th grade. That's some good peanuts. No, seriously, I sold my soul on e-market. How much did you get? 25 bucks. Really? That's awesome. Who bought it? Some company called Wholesale Souls.
Let's see who you are. Yes, I'd like to place an order, please. Yeah, sure, thanks. Okay, sir, just read off the item numbers from the catalog. Yes, yeah, so I'd like three of the H515s. The what color are those? Uh, what color? Uh, maybe two reds and a navy blue would be fine. Oh, and I'd like a subscription to Computer Hackers Weekly. And one of the fruit baskets. A677. Oh, but without the cranberries, I'm allergic. Okay, that comes to $409.15, including tax and shipping. How will you be paying today, sir? Uh, credit card. And is that Visa or MasterCard? Visa. Very good, and what's your name as it appears on the card? Uh, Stan L. McReynolds. The number is 7796-5512-0201. Two zero seven nine. Yes. It's okay, sir. This will just take a moment to process. Um, there appears to be an issue, sir. What? What? What's the problem? Well, according to our records, you are the Lord of Darkness. What? You are Satan, Hades, Lucifer. Dark Prince of the Underworld, Devourer of Souls, Mastermind of all that is evil in this world. This is a joke, right? It says so right on my computer screen, sir. What are you, with the, uh, Heaven's Militia nutcase people? Sir, I'm not sure I understand. My computer says you are the devil. How are you spying on me? I'm not spying on you, sir. Why would I spy on the devil? I am not the devil! Mr. Satan? Sure, what? Would you like your usual 15% discount? Oh, yes. Will this be credit or debit? Credit. Judy. Yes? calls when I was out. No, Stan. Thanks, Judy. Judy? Yes? Did you order a fruit basket? A what? A fruit basket. There's a $100 fruit basket on my credit card statement, and a magazine subscription, and three really expensive sweaters. Did you buy them? No, I wouldn't buy a $100 fruit basket on a company credit card. Then who bought them? I don't know, but it wasn't me. Do you want me to call Bob? No. Nah. No. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks, Judy. Okay. Hello. Uh, accounting, please.
Hello, hello. Um, hi, I, I had an issue with my credit card statement. There's some items on uh, that I, uh, I didn't order. No, no, I'm not accusing you of anything. No, I'm very careful with my credit card information. The only person who knows my number is my secretary. No, no, she's not a spy. Okay, listen, listen, I'll pay for it myself. 350 bucks. A web form? Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I've got it now. I can handle it from here. Thanks a lot for all your help. Okay, so the second one. <laughs> That's right, force is equal to mass times acceleration. And the last one? The last sir? Uh, I think equals reaction. Yeah. So how can we do action and reaction with you <sighs> This is absurd. What is it? I left my homework again? I don't mean to pry, but you really need to get a grip. It's not my fault. What, do you mean it's your destiny? What? Yeah, okay. So, so how do we do action reaction with your dog? <laughs> you know what I think? Great Johnny. <laughs> I bet when you sold your soul, they also got your luck. You know, kind of an added bonus. Okay. What? You don't really. No, the turtle made the pen just Oh my god. Uh, hello. Uh, is uh, Stan McReynolds there? Yes, he is. May I ask why you're... Uh, about the possibility of repurchasing my soul. We don't normally do that. Uh, well, he purchased my soul through eMarket, and I was wondering if I could uh, speak to him about buying it back? No. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, we don't no. normally do that. Well, could you at least give me a time that I could meet with him? I'd really appreciate it. Well, he would be available at 4 o'clock. Okay. 4 o'clock? Yeah, that's fine. And the same to you. I can't sell back your soul. But I do have some good news. Really? What? I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. <laughs> but seriously, I can't. And although contractually speaking, I can't discuss specific cases, we're in the business of making money here. And if we can't sell the souls we buy, we can't make money. So, 
What are you saying? I'm saying that I can't even guarantee that your soul is still on the premises here. You sold my soul? We're a business. Uh, James, what do you think we do with it? Who'd you sell it to? I can't tell you, John. We make a point of signing a non-disclosure agreement with all of our clients. In fact, if you check sometime, you'll see that you signed one too. Now, if I were you, I'd... Well, never mind. The point is, we value all of our customers here at Wholesale Souls Incorporated. Now, if you'll excuse but it's me, my I... soul. Don't I have some sort of right to know who owns it? Well, legally, your soul doesn't exist at all. So, you admit that I sold you something that doesn't exist? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I said your soul doesn't exist in the eye of the law. All I'm saying is, you have no legal recourse should you, uh... But, how can you sell something like that? Theoretically, it's quite simple. As long as there are people there to buy souls, we'll be there to sell them. And we don't spend a penny on shipping. Okay, you never got my soul. You gave me money, but I never gave you my soul. Yes, yes you did. We have a signed agreement that says you did. But that contract isn't valid. Yes, it is. No, it's not, because I'm not 18, and my parents never signed it. We're not here to argue what's legally binding or what isn't. All that matters is, when you signed that paper, your soul became property of this company. Then, then I'll sue you for it. <laughs> no, you won't. You have no legal recourse. You can't sue us for what doesn't exist. Please, then, let me buy it back. I'll no. pay you double. No, I'm sorry. Triple. It's clear that you don't understand how we do business in this company. If you wish, please pick up some complimentary brochures on your way out. But, please. You really must go. I'm late for a meeting that started five minutes ago. Listen, if it'll help you any, please remind yourself that souls actually aren't real. But... Hell, how may I direct your call? Hello? 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 Hey, it's me. Hi, James. Do you believe in souls? No. Is this about selling your soul? Oh, well, yeah, you know. Well, I've been thinking about it just since. You do know you only sold a piece of paper with your name on it, right, James? It's just, it's just weird. I don't know what to think. Yeah. 25 bucks? Yeah, it works out. So it's it's okay. All right. See you at school. Bye.
Must be a typo. I'm Stan McReynolds, and I'm here to tell you about Wholesale Souls Incorporated, quality souls at discount prices. We pride ourselves in the quality of our souls. If you'd like to make spare money, you can make a lot selling your soul. Since we're a wholesaler rather than a retailer, more of the profits go to you. Souls are valuable investment items. Souls have made great gains in value over the past decade and promise to in the future. Many investors agree that souls make a great part of any long-term or short-term portfolio. And after you sell your soul, you can still lead a perfectly normal life. The next time you think about... James, what are you doing here? Get in. What? I was going to the... Get in. We have to talk. So what's up? Stupid. It was a stupid idea. And for what? $25? It was your idea. What was my idea? So, when I sold my soul, a company bought it. Wholesale Souls Incorporated. A company? Yeah, there's this guy, Stan McReynolds, in the purchasing department. So, a couple days later, I started to think. It's not that I sold my soul, it's the principle of the thing. You know, I sold my soul for $25. So I went over to the office to try to buy it back. To try and buy back something you didn't sell in the first place. And he said they'd already sold it. What? Already sold it! Who'd they sell it to? They wouldn't say. Who would buy it? He didn't say. I should never have... Should never have what? Should never have sold your soul? Get a grip. You didn't sell a damn thing. You sold a piece of paper with your name on it. Yeah, I know. So, the guy, Stan, the guy who sold my soul to... Yeah? So, I went into the office and I got a brochure when I went in to see him. Yeah? There was a misprint. Said his name was Satan. So the guy's name's Stan and they add an extra A. What the hell's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I don't know. I think I may have sold my soul to the devil. <laughs> so what are you, religious now? No, I just... Don't you think it's possible that there's something going on that we don't know about? Jesus Christ. What a time for existential discussions. Would you slow down? By the way, that's what I've been telling you for eight years. I've been saying this kind of thing for eight years, and even I think this is nuts. Why? Because some guy had a typo on his stationery? Something is God going damn on. It, nothing is going on, James. I just have to... I have to think about this and... James. Figure out my own problems. James, there is no problem. Stop worrying about it. Are you okay? Warren, are you okay? Oh God, Warren. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. What about you? I think, I think my arm's broken. <coughs> you know what? 
but when I get home, I'm gonna want a big piece of strawberry cheesecake. Yeah. Me too. So, where did you get this? It was in my wallet. Are you sure it's not mine? Let me see your wallet. This is my wallet. No, look, there's a picture of my sister in it. This is my sister. Identity thief, pickpocket, imposter. I am not. Give me my sword back. My sword. It's mine. 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 Damn, blind people. STEALING MY WALLET AGAIN! Hello? Samuel Eric Nelson? Yes, this is he. Do you know who you are speaking to? I am Lucifer. I am the devil. <laughs> I've heard a lot of those recently. You don't believe me? I am a force so evil I cannot exist in the physical world as anything more than an idea. Oh, really? How's life treating you? You've been on a buying spree, Mr. Nelson. Using the credit card from one Mr. Stan L. McReynolds. Yes, I, I did indeed do that. I must say I'm impressed. How did you do it? Yeah, it's actually kind of funny, see? These people, you, you'll get their number and they'll be like, They'll be so embarrassed that they've had their identity stolen that they won't even report it to anyone. And so you can just keep going to the same account over and over and keep extracting money that they've already earned. Really? They're just so... so inept and ignorant, you know? <laughs> Mr. McReynolds is an employee of mine. But I'd like to make a deal with you. You would. I'm looking for good help, if you will. Mr. McReynolds is employed as my representative on Earth. He's been a little less than productive the past few years. Perhaps you'd be interested in a job. Of course, the other option is that I could have you torn limb from limb by wild dogs. I think you would prefer a paying job to a painful death. That's an interesting proposal. Well? 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Congratulations. You're the new VP of Purchasing at Wholesale Souls Incorporated. You start tomorrow. I heard about Warren. Yeah. It's horrible. So, what happens now? I don't know. What about you? What about your car? Micah! Doesn't that matter? He's been through... No, it's fine. The car's totaled. Thanks for asking. What happens to you now? They're not pressing charges. I got a reckless driving citation. What I miss in physics? Well, we've moved on to friction. You're gonna have to ask Mr. Lunt about making up work. Time to go. It's been nice seeing you again. Really. You too. What? Hello? We have a new representative. You're dismissed. Vacate your office immediately. What? Immediately. Wait, you can't just... Arriving in three minutes. Wait, I've been with this organization since... Immediately. What about my secretary? Don't concern yourself. Leave. Now. Put me on with him. I can't. Come on. 28 years. It's the least you can do. Put him on. Make it quick. Just... why? I think you know. No, I don't. Is this about the credit card? Oh, that's only the beginning. Although, that in itself is reason enough. What then? Your productivity just... isn't what it used to be. You know how long it's been since you met your quota? That's not my fault. It's the reawakening of the religious right. I can't carry on business in this kind of environment. Then you'll be glad you won't have to anymore. Who is it? Who you bring it in? You don't know him. Fresh face. New to the business. Oh, that. What's that supposed to mean? You always did play favorites. Do you remember how I got the- All right. Enough. You're dismissed. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. You know what he said to me? What Warren said to me before the crash? What did he say? He said not to worry about the things I can't control.
Okay. Um, how are you? I'm fine. Because you've been through a lot. Yeah. I'll be okay. I thought maybe you should, um... Maybe you should come to my church sometime. Why? Well, because there's a lot that you can, um... So I can ask God why this happened? Well, yes, if you want. But there's so much more that you can... So I can ask God why he killed my best friend? Listen. God didn't kill him. I did. I killed him. Me. I got him into that car, and I ran that red light, and now he's dead. God didn't cover him with blood and break his arm in three places. That was me. Well, I thought it might help you cope with- You think I have a problem coping? Alex is worried about you. Well, fuck Alex. But James, we care about you. Then fuck you for caring. She's worried about me. Maybe God can take care of me. Coming out of the sky and fucking... The devil's got your soul and you just killed. Like God is gonna come down out of the sky and just make everything all better. Ha! Can I come in? I suppose you're my replacement? I guess you could say that. What am I going to do with my life? I've been with this organization for as long as I can remember. Hey, I'm not the one to ask. Who should I ask then? Who the hell should I ask? Look, I know you're upset, but you need to leave now. I don't want any trouble. How old are you? 19, why? I can't believe it. They sent in someone who isn't even born when I started working here. How'd they find you? I did something they were impressed with. They just called me up. Again with the phones. Don't expect to ever see the guy. I'm not sure I'd ever want to. You know, I don't even get a severance package. Not even a going away gift. Not even a fruit basket. I want you to have this. I have nothing to say to you. Well, I have something to say to you. What? Give me back my goddamn soul. Listen, I've got my own problems. I just got fired, okay? So just leave me alone. Where is it? Where is it? Tell me. What are you doing? Help! Help! Where is my soul? I don't know. You're lying. I'm not. I just worked there. I got fired. You have it. I don't. 
Why would I want it? You're the devil! Don't hurt me! I've got your name and your address. I'm calling the police as soon as I get home. Hey Warren, how's it going? Yeah, me too. Yeah. So how are your parents doing? How's school? Good? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Any good, any good classes? Yeah. Okay, well, see you later. Standing at the start I uh, suddenly meet with your bags in your hands And your base at your feet I see the bags coming along I hope Can wake up and realize it's just a dream
James is dead. He killed himself last night. Oh 
None of the penguins knew anything about any of this. Big person or a small person? <laughs> I'm an atom. Actually, my uncle was a super intelligent penguin. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, actually. You? My cousin. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. Isn't Ray Charles also blind? Yes. But Ray Charles is dead. Oh. 
oh my god.